now that you successfully have installed and uh, started up our studio or logged into the R Studio server here at Lawrence, we want to talk through the four basic panes uh, that the R Studio window is divided into. Now, what you're going to notice is that there are only three panes right now: one labeled Console, one with an Environment and History tab and the other with Files, Plots, Packages, Help, and the Viewer tab. Now we're going to open up a fourth tab at the end, but let's walk through the three that open by default. The first tab is the workhorse of R, and this is your console. This is where you actually are going to be executing commands, such as uh, 2 plus 2, or maybe you want to make a plot, uh, and you would run your plotting code here. You could also um, run statistical tests here and we'll be doing a lot of that throughout throughout the term. So this is where all the code is run. The next pane is the environment and history uh, pane and that's going to show you what we actually have, what objects we actually have defined in R so far. And what I mean by objects are data sets, uh, variables and things like that. For instance, if I wanted to define x as 10, notice that arrow is going to assign 10 to x, then you'll see that x pops up here as a value. Uh, another thing is if I wanted to load the ggplot2 package and then look at diamonds, uh, that's not going to display in my environment yet, but if I were to do data diamonds what you're going to see is now that that's popped up in my tab, and once I start working with it, I'm going to have data defined, and I can go look at what variables are in that data set. So this is a really useful tab because it shows you everything that you've already defined that hasn't gone away. If you don't label your code, save it as an object or a variable, it's going to go away. Uh, and it also shows you your commands that you've already run. So if you wanted to go back and say run 2 plus 2, instead of typing it in again, you can double click that and, and hit enter to execute. Now the third pane that we want to talk about is the files, plots, packages, help, and viewer pane. Uh, and this is going to be very useful. It's going to show you your current working directory. And what that means is what files R can actually see. It'll show you any plots that you've generated under the Plots tab. Now, we haven't generated any yet, uh, so that makes sense that that would be blank, but it'll show you all of those. It also shows you what R packages you have loaded over here in the Packages tab. Now, that takes a little while, but we know that we've loaded ggplot2, so you're going to see a check mark next to anything that you've loaded. And then finally, there's help. So whenever you have help, a question on a, a function, what you can do is say, let's say you don't understand what that head function was that I ran. Well, you can go search for help here directly or by typing question mark function name in the console. Now, those are our three basic tabs that we have or panes that we have by default. The third pane can be opened by going up here to this blank sheet of paper with a plus sign next to it and selecting either R script or R markdown. Those will be our two. Uh, workhorses for us this time around and let's open up an R script for now and what you're gonna see is that this looks just like a text file but I'm gonna encourage you to use this because unlike in the console where you just lose what you've typed it's not gonna be saved anywhere if you wanted to add two and two together well it's not gonna go away it's gonna stay there so you can always go back and run that or if you wanted to take the natural log of 100 you can do that and then to run it, all you have to do is select what line you want to run and click Run here, and it'll go down to the console and run those. So those are our three, or sorry, four basic panes in our studio. So now you're up and running.